Welcome back friends. I'm Susan Clifton. I'm here in my Baca studio in Pompano Beach, Florida. And boy, am I excited. So yesterday I was playing with my new, uh, it's not so new, uh, Cricut Joy. And I finally figured out how to make reusable stencils. <laughs> Okay, so this is the one, maybe you would see it against my, my black shirt. You can see that um, this is my reusable stencil. Now, a Cricut is only, my Cricut Joy, I mean the biggest, this is, this is the size of the sheet. So I can't make a big stencil like a 12 by 12 or anything like that. But this is perfect for the small paintings that I'm doing. And I'm just excited that I got this, that, that I got this working. So um, I cut a four by six piece of uh, plastic, craft plastic, I guess you would call it, craft vinyl. So I found this product on Amazon and it's 0 .007 um, mil clear craft plastic. This is a new sheet that I cut for today and I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm not sure what this does to my blade, if it shortens the life of it, but we're going to add a little bit more pressure. We're going to choose um, the right material for the, you know, to cut this plastic. And that's all you have to do. And then you just um, let it go one pass and it worked. So uh, let's get started. In my Cricut design space, and I'm going to click new project. I'm going to click on images and try to find something. Let's uh, find a, just, just, let's see what happens when we say design. Oh, these are kind of cute, especially, I like this one. Right, let's go in here a second. So normally I would choose cut only. Um, Let's see if this one will work. Okay, so because it's, you know, if we tried to make, just automatically make the stencil from here, it wouldn't work. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger to fill up my 4x6 a little bit more. So let's move it like that. And I am going to draw a shape. Okay. Oops, I got two of them. Can you tell I'm not good at this yet? Anyway, I'm going to unlock this so that we can make sure that it's filling the whole area. Okay, and I'm going to, I think it's under a range where we send two back. So now we see our image on top. Now, I, this is a little too close to the edge. We want to have a nice comfortable space around our stencil. Um, and so I'm going to adjust that. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to make, make this background actually four by six. I'm going to make sure this is sort of in the center. I want to give some space around it. Okay, so now um, first I, I want to select these two and hit slice. And now I have three this is this middle one is the one that I want to keep. So I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to delete this one. And now I am left with what looks like a stencil. You could see the grid in the background. So, you know, that's the part that's going to get cut out. Let's keep going. Um, you could also do this on an iPad or an iPhone. And I don't think it's uh, much different. I'm pretty, I think it's pretty much the same. Um, I'm going to click make it. And I'm going to use on mat. Okay, so here we go. You see, 
Actually, I'm going to make sure it's in that corner. Maybe if I had put, you know, maybe I'm going to adjust my, that's what I'm going to do. No, nope, I'm going to leave it in the corner. <laughs> we shall see if this works. Anyway, continue. So now is when we, we select our paper type or our stock type. So I had already um, put this into my favorites. It's called a foil, plastic foil acetate. And I put it in my favorites by hitting that star, which makes it sort of handy. But if you browse the materials, I'm going to show you. It's all the way down. It's all by itself, like here in purple. Okay. Let's click this. So I'm going to select that. Then this pressure drop-down comes up. Now, normally I leave it on default because I'm using Smart Vinyl or something like that, but on this case, I'm going to choose more. And now I have to load the machine. And then we hit go. Okay, so now when we hit unload, the mat self-ejects from the machine. Uh, before I unloaded it, I should have tested it, but it's fine. I'm going to say finish, and I really should have saved this, so I'm going to save it, and I'll call it Designs with Heart, or Design with Heart. And save. Wow, so this, that didn't take too long, and um, I'm very pleased that I was able to do this successfully a second time on video. So if you can see, I'm going to carefully lift this. We have to be careful because there's some pieces. I'm gonna work from the bottom, and then again, work from the top a little. And it's gonna leave those extra cutout pieces on the mat. And then I'll have to pick those off, if you could see that. Can you see that? And now I have my stencil. Let's use reflection so you could see it. I think that's really cute, and I can maybe reinforce it a little bit with some tape on the edges so that I can use it again and again. So thanks for stopping by today. Next time, I am going to do something with these stencils. So please visit me again, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.